Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I'm actually going to be doing my mid-year freak out, finally. I know it's a little late, but we're just going to go with it. So, uh, my reading year has been different. I feel like I haven't been reading as much as I normally do, and it's just been a weird year of just, I don't know, not really enjoying a lot. So it's kind of sad, but hopefully that will change as the year goes on. I'm going to go ahead and just dive right into the questions. So the first question is the best book you've read so far. For that one, I chose Beach Read by Emily Henry. I really loved this book. I wasn't expecting how much I was going to love it. I thought it was just going to be another like romancy book that I was going to be like, oh, that was cute, but like forget about it. But I finished this book and I just could not stop thinking about it and I sometimes I still can't stop thinking about it because it was just so well written and I think I just connected to the characters so much which hasn't happened to me a lot this year I'm so glad I read this when I did I was re in it for the bad so I found this gem and I'm so happy I was able to read it it was just so good and I liked the fact that it wasn't like your typical romance where it was lighthearted with like some parts of like sad or deep things it was like totally deep the entire time but it had its lighthearted moments but it had its serious moments and it was like a good mixture next is the best sequel so i haven't read many sequels this year because i haven't been reading much this year but um the one sequel i really did enjoy at the beginning of this year was the damned by renee adier i really did enjoy this um i didn't enjoy my reread of the beautiful as much but when i got to the damned i was in it i was reading through it i was like this is going good um so i'm really hyped that i liked this as much as i did i do not know how i'm gonna feel about the third one especially because it does change perspective again so it'll definitely be interesting but i will definitely follow through and read that third one just to see how i feel about it but this was just so so good um i don't want to say much about it because it is the second book and i don't want to spoil anything next i have a new release you haven't read but want to so for that one i have in the ravenous dark by am strickland so this was kind of an anticipated read um mostly because I when I found out about this book someone was selling it as a dark like fantasy with a polyamorous romance and I like that that sounded so interesting so I just couldn't resist picking it up and hopefully reading it soon but it definitely was on my most anticipated list so I'm hoping it lives up to my head <laughs> and the Anopolis, the, those precious few gifted with magic are assigned undead spirits who guard them and closely control them. Ever since Rovin's father died trying to keep her from this fate, Rovin has hidden her magic. But when she accidentally reveals her powers to save a life, she's bound to one of the undead and thrust into a world of palace intrigue and deception. Desperate to regain her independence, Rovin still finds herself falling in love with two people she can't fully trust. Lydia, a bugling and rebellious princess struggling against her destiny, and Ivrula, Ivrilos, the handsome, powerful spirit with the ability to take control of Roman body and soul. Together, they uncover a terrible secret that will destroy everyone in Thinopolis, both the living and the dead. To save them all, Roven will have to start a rebellion in both the mortal world and the underworld, and find a way to trust the princess and the undead sp spirit battling for her heart, if she doesn't decide to betray them first. That just sounds good. I love it. I'm here for it. So I hope, I hope it lives up to my expectations. An anticipated release for sec the second half of the year. So for that, I actually have only one book I'm really anticipating for the last half of this year. And that is We Were Villains by Amanda Foody. And I believe there's a second author, but I can't think of the name right now. Um, this sounded really, really intriguing. It's about like a town or city town, I think, that's ruled by like specific families and every year or every certain number of years all the families compete for um a chance to have control of the magic in the world or in this town or whatever and it honestly it just had it reminded me a little bit of hunger games but also like darker even darker than hunger games so it just sounded really intriguing and i'm really hyped for it 
Alright, next, biggest disappointment. So for that one, I chose A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I dnf that. It was so boring. I could not relate to the main character. I found everything that she was doing was boring. Even the murder was just boring. I, and I feel so bad because people were so hyped about this book and the sequel and the upcoming sequel. And I was just like, no, this ain't it. Sorry, bro. So, yeah, definitely a disappointment. Number six is Biggest Surprise. So for that one I chose From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. When I tell y'all, I picked this book up and I thought I was gonna hate it. Like, I was not going to enjoy it at all. It was, it was a solid thing. I just went in knowing, I was like, I'm probably gonna hate this, probably won't like it, but I'll check it out, whatever. And I came out of it really enjoying this. Like, <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot more than I was expecting. It was just a really, really fun read. So I'm kind of glad I read it this year because I definitely needed something fun to pick up and just go through and not have to worry about like reading it super fast or like the pressure of having to like it. Like it was just fun. So I really enjoyed this. Um, in case you don't know, in case you've missed the, the craze of this, um, it's about a girl named Poppy who is like the chosen one in her world. So she's best basically kept isolated and away from everybody and she's basically also not allowed to do anything. <laughs> and she's at the end of like her, I think she's like when she turns 17, 18, whatever, she's supposed to help her generation of people like ascend. But they don't know what that means. Like you go in and you're like, what is this ascending? And she doesn't even know what it is. And so she's basically like, how am I supposed to ascend to these people? And I don't even know what ascending is. Um, so she meets Hawk, who is intriguing and mysterious and has an agenda, but she doesn't know what that agenda is yet. Um, I found this really fun and just intriguing and yeah. Definitely, if you're looking for a fun read, I would definitely recommend this. Next is favorite new author. So for that, I'm going to have to say Emily Henry. I read her second book and I really enjoyed that too. So I think she's about to become an auto buy author for me and I'm really excited for that. A newest fictional crush. So I honestly don't have any. <laughs> um, this year was a weird year for me and though I've liked a lot of the love interests I've read about, I just I don't really have a crush on anybody. Newest favorite character, I also don't have one of those right now. So yeah. A book that made you cry. Lately, latest one was Beach Read. I almost sobbed at the end of this because it was just so like good and intense and like emotional. So definitely Beach Read. Next, a book that made you happy. So for that one, I chose People We Meet on Vacation, also by Emily Henry. I really enjoyed reading this book. It was fun. It was heartwarming and it just made me happy to read about these characters and their friendship and everything like that most beautiful book you've bought so this one i got in a fairy loot box which i did buy so technically it counts i have another set from fairy loot that i actually did buy that i think is gorgeous but it's not here and i wanted to choose something that i had physically here with me so for that one i chose my um fairy loot edition of witches steeped in gold because look at this it is freaking gorgeous i really love this look at and like the sprayed edges and then the inside is yellow which is such a pretty yellow and then if i take off the dust jacket on the front here so i think this is one of the most beautiful covers fairy loot has done in a while um excluding the like ember set that's gorgeous too but i think this is definitely a top list for them so i'm super excited to have this and read it because it sounds like it's going to be a really good story hey friends um so i realized that my camera cut off before i could finish this tag but luckily i only have one more question left and that was just what books do you need to read before the end of the year and i feel like i always give the same answer where it's all of my books um I don't have anything specific that I feel like I need to absolutely read by the end of the year, but I would like to read more of my books by the end of the year. So yeah, that's what I'm hoping. So that was the uh, mid-year freak route. So sorry it's late. My life has been kind of hectic with um, getting back into school and just 
figuring out things so um, unfortunately I think my filming schedule is going to be a little bit more hectic for right now but I'm going to try my best to keep up and at least post something once in a while but um, yeah if you like the video please give it a good old thumbs up if you have any questions comments concerns please go ahead and leave that down below and if you want to see more videos from me please hit the subscribe button you guys are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds